I praise y'all. This is stream number five, five days in a row. I think this is gonna be the last stream I go over like the latest updates on 4.04 for the Roland SP44 Mark II. Uh, today I wanna look at the new microscope feature, the function of a function of TR Rec. So like TR Rec is Roland's or the SP44 Mark II's um step step sequencer right i don't really get into step sequencers like that but i wanted to check this out and uh I, i'm always willing to try something new i've used the tr rec before that was back i think when i was um trying to use the roll when i first was like trying to figure out what the roll does see if it worked like a like a note repeat which it didn't so I realize you can use step or the TR rec step sequencing to make like some trap style hats. And I did that. I don't really make trap, but I just wanted to see that I can do that. So that's what I've used it for in the past. And I'm gonna go ahead and make something like I did. I was messing with it last night. I'm gonna make something with the TR rec, just input some notes just to go over it. If you're not familiar with it, I don't know how many of y'all use it. Let me know in the chat if you do um one thing i'll probably i'll probably start using it because i've heard some people say that uh they solely use it just to like delete notes because it's much easier than it is to do them individually or use like the erase mode or the pattern edit so yeah so let's take a look at the manual real quick and see what microscope is about so it says you can Edit what's recorded in a pattern note by note. Follow steps one through six in creating a new pattern. TR rec, page 71. Okay, so that's just up a little bit. Maybe I'll go back to that and see. But I, I've got a, a pretty good idea of how to use TR rec. Um, press pads one through 16 while holding down the sub pad button to select the samples to record. Okay, press pads one through 16 while holding down the pattern edit button to select notes that are already recorded. Okay. And then we can scroll down. So I've, I've peeped at it, I looked at it a little bit. It's not what I expected. I thought maybe, see this is a little screenshot of what it looks like. I thought that maybe you can um, actually see visual a visual of notes, but no, it's, it kind of looks more like something like a list edit, you know? Um, if you're familiar with those, I, I really don't use list edit. I use it sometimes in the NPC to like delete some notes, usually when it's just like I accidentally record mutes in, but this is solely, I think for like pads and stuff. So like if you have MIDI data, the pad presses, so we'll look at it and I'll jump back and forth. So what's up with it? Who's in the chat? Anybody? I don't see anyone out there yet. All right, well, <clears throat> go ahead and switch the camera. And I'm gonna start making a little beat, some drums and TR rec. Okay. Switch our project. I think I was on project 10. I got some drums out. Yeah, I got some drums here. Let me delete this. All right, so TR. I hate that. TR rec. So if you guys don't know, when you go to to hit record press a pattern 
you have an option. You can press remain and switch between TR Rec and, you know, regular real time recording. So let me do that. Okay. So you see the patterns, the steps uh, moving. So we got 16 steps here. It's a, right now it's on two bars, so it's a total of 32 steps. And I could switch between the other 16 just by turning the push enter knob. You can see that indicated right here. Let me see if I can get a little bit more focus for this. I'll zoom in a bit. Weird. Okay, I think that's a good view. All right, so now that we, when you're in here, what you do is you compress the sub pad, and this allows you to select any of the samples on your drum bank or on your bank, and that's how you move in between uh, inputting steps. For each sound so say i'm gonna start with my kick select that let go and then i can start inputting the kick just like that i'm gonna do like a like a ghost note kick needs some more swing to it so i gotta figure that's one thing i need to look into i think I think you could do like an offset thing if so I hit shift so let me try that so before you let me go and delete the note so you just press the pad again and so before you press the pad you want to change some of the settings so that they apply to when you input the note so I'm gonna hit shift and see I could do shuffle let me ch mess with the start let's see how much ahead of time I can put it or you know how much swing I can add so it Sounds more like a ghost note. I could change the velocity here. Go 50. Let's see how that sounds. See, that sounds much better. So, yeah. So, using the start percentage, I guess. So, it doesn't sound as stiff. That makes more sense. It's like a ghost note. And changing the velocity. You could change the pitch all from here. Um, sub steps. I won't, probably won't get into that. Um, that's what I was using to do like the the trap hats because you can add like notes within within the 16 or 32 steps you know add some uh some quicker hats and stuff but i'll leave it at that so moving into another sound let's go over to my snare so i want to hit here although i gotta if I don't want that setting applied, I got to move this back. So. so so, the percentage going this way, I'm assuming, because the way that it sounds is that this is moving it forward on the grid. And then you can go like negative and go like early on the grid. So let me do a little something. Not too obvious. We'll just go 4%, put the velocity back up. I think it's by default at 90 so delightfully tacky was good square breaker what's up how's it going got your mk2 two, two days ago that's what's up that's exciting how are you liking it so far okay so now i'll hit sub head moving to my hi-hat yeah, and this i'm gonna do let me see Do that like that. And I'll leave the hi-hats like this. I didn't do any velocity changes because I know in microscope you can do some velocity changes. So I'll look at that next. So I'll just keep that simple. Three sample, three pad beat. Okay. 
confusing but slowly getting there yeah man be patient with it and i always suggest be patient with the with the sequencer crest head what's good oh crest all right so let me pull up just to make sure just for myself i'm gonna pull up the manual again so i can do this shift command thing um it's not shift command but it's uh what happened okay so if i press so first i want to do the same thing so if i want to I want to edit within microscope, say my kick first. So I'm going to do the same thing I do before I input them. So I select the kick and then if I hold pattern edit and then I just press any of the steps. So now I'm going, I'm holding pattern it and I'm selecting the different steps. So if I want to edit this kick, you know, the one that I was, that was my, my ghost, no kick. So I just do that, hold it and select it and you'll see it blinking yellow. And then let's look at what kind of things you can change. And I don't really see too much going on here on the screen. Um, so these are parameters. Like I can change, it says chrome. I guess that's chromatic. So I could change like the pitch of it. You hear the pitch on that, on that step right there. Changes. Okay, so maybe if I want to make the ghost note a lot quieter, turn this down. And we have the indication up here, right? So see, C2 says pitch, C3 says velocity. So let me turn that down significantly. It's more of a ghost note there. One thing I don't know how to do from here is move over to the next 16 steps. So I think I had to exit it and go, go like that. And then again, so you have to exit it, which is not super cool. Um, and then I'll turn it down a bit again. So that's helpful for like, Kind of ghost note in there, change your velocity. Um, yeah, I guess the pitch could be useful. I'd have to think about maybe like if I was doing some trap pads, I don't know if you guys could think of some things you might use that for. But as far as I can see, that's kind of limited. So I like looking at the, man the manual again. Um, let's see. Well, let me go do the same thing for, I want to do the hi-hats because the hi-hats need some velocity changes. So sub pad and the hat and then so I'm going to do like this whole row. I'm going to quiet these down a bit. Just going on like about 18. So how do I change the bar? It says bar one or two. So that, that reading is there, but I'm not quite sure how to switch it from the screen. I don't know if it's possible or not, so I'll just exit and switch the bar there and then go back into it and go click on the step. So it's cool. It's a, it's a you know, a way of editing in and making your drum pattern sound a bit more organic, you know, so you have that variation of that. Okay, it's all right. It's not it's not great, but hey, I'm learning 
the TRX. So, okay. <clears throat> now I want to revisit the the manual a bit. Okay. Control knob one. C one item. Okay. So if there is, it says if there is more than one note in a single step, this selects the desired note. Nothing changes. If there's only one note in the step. All right. So control knob two sets the pitch. Control three velocity. We went over all that. Adjust the timing at which the notes play. With the volume app. The timing which the notes play with the volume app. Oh, okay. So that's good. Okay. I didn't know that. See, I was looking at it last night and I didn't see that, but that's actually good. So I want to go look back at the, uh, I'm going to go back to the kick because I want to look at that ghost step. Hold on, let me, that ghost kick that I was making. I don't know why this zooms back out every time. Okay. So. I selected the kick again. Then let's go into here. Select this one. So yeah, I wasn't sure what that reading was. So you see right there, it says uh, right now it says 24. I guess that's the the timing of which the notes that which the notes play. So I'm gonna adjust this. It's at 25 now. Let's just go real far. If I go, no, it doesn't go. Yeah, so I don't know if it's changing it from the position you input it. You know how you seen how I did the changes on right here where you can hit shift and do the start percentage um so yeah but it moves it so that's good that's cool So especially for like the ghost notes, that's that's kind of the main usage. I mean, you shift your snares and you to just like natural out the field. So that could be useful for sure. Yeah. There you go. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything else that I missed up here in the manual. Let's keep looking through it a little bit. Let me get back over to it. Hold on. I get off this screen. I was trying to look at the chat. Okay, so. Microscope. To finish the microscope, press the exit button. You have done that multiple times. Tap recording. Okay, this is tap recording is a whole another feature of TRX, I, I think. Creating a new pattern, start rate recording, press pad, sub pad button, select tap record. Time where you want to. Okay, so you can do like, I think it sounds like you can do kind of a real time with the, within TRX as well. But no, I'm not gonna probably not gonna look at that. I just wanna I just wanna just wanted to look at that kind of briefly. And let's see what's going on in the chat. This is gonna be a short one. I'll wrap it up to see what's going on in the chat.
King Drew, what's up? You don't need a computer for the 404. It is standalone. Yeah, I bought your specifically so you don't have to use a computer. It's just like me. Dogs kill your creativity, so this is a breath of fresh air. That's what's up. I feel that. I want to play an instrument, not a computer. Sort of similar to microscope on the Roland FA06 sequencer. Okay. Never used it. Always wanted to. It looked like a cool keyboard. 404 reminds me of the TEKO33 sampler on steroids. Yeah, a little bit, huh? I had that briefly. It's kind of fun. But yeah, very limited. Has some, okay. Yeah, it has some silver vibes to the FA. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's for those electroners wanting the programming, wanting the programming hit. I never used Electron. I've I've wanted to try the Digitech. I remember when that came out, and that was like at a at a time where uh, standalone samplers, I believe, from what, what I remember, standalone samplers were kind of rare. People were just making even Akai was making like controllers. So I don't know if I ever try one of those <clears throat> the Digitech. And then I watched like John makes beats and it makes me want to try the the bigger brother machine. I forget what it's called, Octatrack. Oh, that's what's up. Uh, this is your first real hardware instrument. So I have no standards. In microscope, can you add notes or just edit existing notes? I believe it's just editing from the wording. It says, I gotta stop doing that. Let me go back and I'll read it for you real quick. disappeared on me so yeah see it says editing patterns note by note microscope so no i don't believe so but it's easy enough just to, to jump out of it and uh with the tr rec you know crunchy video what are you talking about oh was it yeah it looked like there was some issues like it was dropping out i was getting some notifications it must be like just the mobile network thing when when it's being used a lot or something because i use my phone to stream and other than that i can't really think of any other inconsistencies like i'm not doing anything different did i purchase it from day one uh, honestly, this is like my second one because I had bought it and sold it and then rebought it again. Um, but yeah, I they were on back order for a while and I did. I ordered one at the beginning. It does kind of look like my uh, my audio is not linked with my synced with my video. But yeah, so I put a pre order on it because I was on top of it. You know, I was I did like a whole reaction stream to it when it was like leaked and announced and then then i was like on top of when they actually did their official announce i knew when it was coming and you know i watched that and then i went straight to like zounds and put a pre-order in and yeah ram was good the digitac is now out of production so expect a new version soon i seen that they did like a anniversary silver version like limited run yeah john make john make bc he'll have you want one of those huh Got yours a few months after it dropped. Had it for about a year and a half. And you don't have it now? But yeah, that, that's pretty much it. It was a quick little thing to to uh, take a look at. The microscope. Not too much to it, but it could be useful. Um, and yeah, it's, it's cool to explore TR Rec. I think that... Uh, I don't think that I'll use it to program beats, but... Now thinking about it from comments people have 
um, I've seen from comments, people I've seen uh, talk about how they use it to erase notes. I could see myself using it to edit some notes, you know, and do some of that ghost note stuff. If I, if like I say I finger drum something, cause I'm much rather just finger drum. And like some of the ghost notes that I program are a little too loud. I can go in and just adjust those, you know? And I might explore uh, looking at doing some of those uh, like triplet style hats and stuff that you hear in Trap. I might do that again at some point. Yeah, it was it was uh, out of stock for a while. Oh, really? John was the reason you bought the four hundred four. Yeah, I seen uh, I seen he had done one of those. He don't. He, I don't think he's gone back to it since. Really. Another edit tool is useful in a pinch. For sure. But yeah, that's what it is. That's. I'm gonna wrap the stream up. Um, if you guys want to check it out, if you like the drums for some reason that I use today, this is the pack that I got the drums from. It's my pack, uh, vinyl instrument pack, and some it has some drums in it and some vinyl instruments. So this is a different pack from the Lift the Noise Stoli sounds. Also has key groups. These are 100% from vinyl like you know i found them on vinyl just pulled up the one shots and threw them in the sp also comes with npc key groups because i'm not going to leave the npc world people out all right because that's me as well so yeah go check that out link is in the description sure have a great weekend let's see if i make it back tomorrow um i got some ideas so yeah let me get a thumbs up push this around the algo i appreciate y'all keep on running with your dreams and y'all bless <laughs>